Hey there my dudes, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to another chapter in this Ghost of a Tale playthrough series. And we're here in the sewers with the Apothecarist after pushing through and finding our way past the various challenges to get to him. We've now got some more missions to undertake, including having to try and find some spider venom, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but we're going to head back out into the sewers in order to do these things. Hopefully it will be fun and you'll enjoy this episode, and if so, please hit that thumbs up button and leave me a like. Leave your comments down below too, and please subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so. Check out my description box where you'll find a whole bunch of links, including ways in which to support the channel, connect with me on social media, and also my Twitch link is there. And let's get underway. Into the sewers we go then. Or back. Further into the sewers we go, I should say. Right. Um, okay, that's where we came in. Let's... Hmm. Maybe we should go this way. Because it was to the... Right, let's see where he goes. Gone. Right. Oh. Wonder how many more of these leeches are down here. Probably loads. Oh. Where is this? It's a ladder. Can't see anything else in here though. No, wrong one. I need light. Oh, the drop off. That was a good thing I didn't walk any further forwards. We need to find four more mushrooms, I think it is. Right, where is this going to lead us? Hmm. That way for a minute. The drawbridge... Ma hey! Ah! I wonder if that ladder's been there the whole time. I guess it probably has. Interesting. Although, we wouldn't have been able to do anything, because we would have got down here, and then found that there was a locked door. Don't like how precarious this ledge is, though. All right, so I need to go elsewhere then. Oh, there's the swimming thing. All right, it doesn't come all the way up this way then. Oh no, it does. Only there was a way I could kill it. <laughs> oh, and then it just vanishes. That's weird. Wait, what? Okay, something strange going on here. Can I? I wonder if I can throw a bottle at it. Oh, money there. So much money in the sewers. Keep a bottle handy just in case. Wait, what? Yeah, no, can't do that. Okay. So I've just got to run around. Try not to get hit by it. <laughs> oh, God. Made me jump. Right, so I need to find others, though. Where can I find others? Wow, it's still being aggro, even though I'm up here. Okay, so we have a shortcut now. 
So how many do we have? We have five, and we need seven. I think. Yeah. Hmm. Two more. Plus, we need to find some traps as well, actually. They were all back near the beginning, weren't they? The traps. So, this should lead me back. Yeah, it led me back into here. Okay. And keep my bottle on me, just in case. That's annoying, though. You can't throw the bottle at them. I mean, you can throw it, but it doesn't actually do anything, which is a bit irritating, but never mind. Okay, were there any in here? I mean, we got the two that were through there. Any more around here? It's basically anywhere that there's that purple mist, isn't it? Thing is, as well, I did have a look at up here, right? Um, looks like there's something in here. If I can get over to it again. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> there. That, to me, looks like a spider. Now, the thing is, I don't know if it's alive or dead. But there's webbing, and there's something there with beady eyes. Quite large as well, which is quite worrying. But we can climb up there, but the thing is, I don't know what's going to happen. If I climb up there, it will maybe come at me. But the thing is, I don't have the antidote. So unless I've got to try and bait it out... And make it chase me to one of the traps. I don't know. But it's a prospect that I'm really not keen on trying. <laughs> I was hoping that I could just find a trap that had some coated on it. Alright, now I know that I can go in this without dying. Yeah. These are all... I got these. But there didn't actually seem to be anywhere else in the sewer that I could go. Because that lift, that elevator, seems to go upwards, not down. Hmm. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Just looking to see if there's any, like, secret doors or things that I've just ran past. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually, while we're here. Let's go and check out where this goes. It looks like it goes up, to be fair. Right, so how do we... Hmm... Will it keep working? Have I got to maybe wait for it to come back, then get on it? No, that doesn't look like... Hmm. So have I got to hit the lever and then quickly get on the lift? It's not an automatic lift. Oh, I can throw a stick at it. Ah. No, I can't. <laughs> so I've just got to do that. Okay. Right. Oh, that's a good view, isn't it? Goes to here, which is... Oh, I can hear a rat. Oh, there's a key. What's that for? Barrel room. Where was the barrel room? I can't even remember. Oh, that's the barrel. Oh, wait. I know where we are now. Okay, we have another shortcut then. Okay. 
Okay, we're opening up lots of shortcuts. Doesn't really help me with my current quest. <laughs> there are many, many, like, things, like, hidden things in this prison, in this keep. There must be somewhere else down here that I didn't see then. So there are no mushrooms in, unless there is another place where there are mushrooms. Oh, lantern is full. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, maybe there. Okay, where is my... My snaky friend over that way. Alright, I just... I got a trophy called the Mushroom King. Must be because of how many that I picked in total. Hey, I just realised, when you pick them, the, like, miasma goes away. Hmm... I should have picked up on that from the other direction, On really. When we went into the room where there were the two of them. Yep, keep going. So it's here. Ah, that side. Right. Now I need to go back. Ah. <laughs> right, we did it. We got... At least we got it for this thing, anyway. We're one step closer to one quest. We just won't be able to do the other one just yet. Right. Talk to you again now. Oh, let's put the stick away. Ah, the mask fits you surprisingly well. It must have shrunk in the water. The water, sir? Leather tends to do that, sir. Yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll be smart. Aye. Probably laid submerged there in the sewer for weeks. Here, I have the death's tongue mushrooms you needed. I've not yet been able to collect a sample of venom. Let's, re let's do that one first, see if it gives us any hints. Search the sewers. Use your wits as well as your eyes. Hmm, okay. Ah, so I was right. Oh, okay. Where there's webbing, you'll usually find spiders. Oh dear. Okay. Here I have the death's tongue mushrooms you needed. There we go. Quest complete. You're not a complete fool then. I suppose you'll want payment. I can't give you much. A few florins at most. But I have something far more valuable for you. Here. Faustus hands you a worn leather cap with a curious red candle affixed to its crown. This should prove to be quite useful. What is it? A Saltaran Miner's Hat. The candle wax is mixed with salt tar, so will burn almost indefinitely. The Ferrets of Saltar. It would be fair to say that ferrets do not exactly enjoy a stellar reputation amongst the creatures of Pangaea. Then again, most ferrets would tell you they don't care. The Saltarian army though, prone to occasional bouts of disorganisation, remains nevertheless a force to be reckoned with. Ferrets have an effective monopoly on salt trading over Pangaea. Indeed, their mines and salt marshes are reputed to produce several varieties of salt, which they use at every opportunity throughout their daily life. Some say this has left them thirsty for violence, but mainly thirsty. Of course, the vapours it emits are quite noxious. They may leave you feeling drained, so be careful. Alright, that'll be all. You can go. But I'll need you again once this batch is finished. Is there anything more I can do to help? This keep. You must know it rather well by now, I imagine. While you're going about, I want you to find me samples of the fruiting bodies of 12 different species of Basidiomycota. Or in terms of a simpleton, I mean a simple mouse might understand. 
Mushrooms. Are they for eating? Where can I find these mushrooms? Please go on. Um, no, they're not for eating, clearly. Where can I find them? I think I'm pretty much doing a good job of that. So we'll just go with, please go on. Or should we? Mm, let's go with where can we find them, just in case. Most prefer the shade. I often find good specimens in the woodland area surrounding the keep. Look here. The Apothecary hands you a journal filled with sketches and notes. Oh, I'm glad we did that now. The Amateur Mycologist. Ooh! The Expert Mycologist. So we have lots of mushrooms. Ah! I've divided the samples into two categories. The smaller group is Nocturnal. Blooming only between the hours of 7 and 6. So make sure you take a lantern with you. Now hurry, the season's almost at an end. I'll see what I can do. This is ridiculous. You're just giving me busy work. I'll see what I can do. Uh, speak to him again. Uh, sample of venom, funguses, all these mushrooms. This had better be worth it. Such insolence. This quest is a sacred rite of passage all apprentices must endure. But I'm not your apprentice. I understand. You feel unworthy. And you are. Of course you are, but fear not, I shall guide you. Now go. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's have a look at these quests then. Um, birth, east, go, pass, hidden, hidden stat, no, it's not that one. Okay, so collect specimens of eight different kinds of mushrooms for Faustus. You found three doggerel mushrooms. Okay, four or four of them. So we need one more Weeping Widow, one more Noggin Top, three Milky Caps, one Loggerhead, five Sponge Ball, seven Cat's Tooth, and six Ear Cap. And then the Expert collects specimens of four different kinds of Nocturnal Mushrooms. So Moonlight's Veld, Midnight Brood, Night Rush and Moon Crest. Hmm. So 7 and 6. So 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. I'm guessing. Alright. Okay, well. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this next bit. But I'm going to go and have to bait out that spider now. Right. Before we do. Um, nothing in there. So the key to the barrel room. Nothing special. Books is that. On Mushrooms, a monograph by Faustus Rot. On Mushrooms, a monograph by the renowned apothecarist Faustus Rot. A number of blank pages suggest the work is incomplete. Oh. Chapter 1, Common Fungus. Ear cap, a broad green cap and orange stem distinguished as handsome mushroom. The ear cap flourishes on dead and rotting wood, the trunks of fallen trees tree stump, their stump, sorry, and so on. Used in treatment for fog eye, stomach murmurs, and doubt. Cat's tooth, rare mushroom, yellow in colour and fluted in design. Its colloquial name is derived from this distinctive shape. The cat's tooth may be found growing on or near rough, hewn stonework walls, archways, etc. Used in treatments for droop ear and toothache. Sponge ball, amateur mycologist might initially have some difficulty identifying this specimen. Indeed, its red cap, accented in white, does indeed evoke the imagery of its name. In fact, the sponge ball's name is derived from the large white spores it releases towards the summer's end. Sponge ball abounds around all cut stone steps, flagstones and the like, used in treatment for saltar poisoning. Weeping Widow the purple cap should serve as a warning to all that this highly toxic mushroom should not be consumed, and yet it holds some mysterious allure for drunken bucks, perhaps taking a shortcut home from the local inn through the glade or that dale. This specimen has truly earned its name. The weeping widow blooms beneath bee nests where natural sugars from the honeycomb infuse the ground. Use some treatments for marital bliss and puss in boots. <laughs> or puss in boots. Log ahead. This specimen has a curious effect upon any who consume its flesh. The victim will quickly become argumentative and belligerent, attempting to fight any creature that might try and come to their aid. The loggerhead thrives all along cliff edges, using treatment for cowardice and croup. 
Doggerel, an unremarkable mushroom at first glance, the doggerel nevertheless possesses many properties of interest to the apothecarist. The doggerel endures in places never touched by the sun, used in treatment for a roving eye, a fickle heart, and typhus. <laughs> Milky cap. The flesh of this specimen is extremely poisonous, but when pressed and filtered it produces a tasty fluid, often used in the production of various cheeses. The milky cap grows predominantly around graves, used in treatments for pawpox and valian fever. Noggin top. The noggin top, with its texture reminiscent of a rodent's brain, is perhaps the most alluring of all mushroom mushrooms. These mushrooms grow in abundance on the ground surrounding tree stumps, used in treatments for shyness and more sickness. Chapter 2 Nocturnal Funguses. Or fungus. Moonlight's Veld, a small white mushroom with a tall cap. Moonlight's Veld is one of the four species native to the region that bloom only at night. This fungus, the Moonlight Veld, is commonly found growing beneath oak trees, used in treatment for ringtail and melancholy. Midnight Brood, this specimen blooms only at night. Its dark cap and stem make the Midnight Brood especially challenging to collect. The Midnight Brood favours the acidic soils found under and around thorn bushes, used in treatments for lung rattle and tattletail. <laughs> Night Rush. As its name suggests, the night rush only blooms during the hours of darkness. The night rush grows exclusively around the trunks of fallen trees, used in treatments for frog breath, dizziness, and reoccurring dreams. Mooncrest. These mooncrest and night rush share a genus and superficially appear to be much alike. However, the mooncrest is far rarer and greatly desired for its healing properties. The mooncrest prefers the warmth of fires, braziers, torches, and so forth. Used in treatments for envy, insomnia, and loose tongue. Interesting. So basically, that's all our hints as to where to find them and when to find them. Okay, this. Uh, Saltarian minus hat. The candle's wax is mixed with salt tar, so it burns almost indefinitely. The vapor emits, vapors it emits are acrid and extremely noxious. Hmm. So... Can we keep... If we keep the mask on, I wonder if that will mitigate the noxiousness of it. Let's see. I mean, nothing... Although saying that, if I'm lo looking at my bar... Oh no, my life goes down when I'm wearing it. Steadily. Wait, or was it my stamina? Because that's just gone back up again. It makes your stamina go down. Hmm. Okay. Man, it's so annoying that I don't have any weaponry. I've got bottles and sticks. <laughs> and slime jars. Hmm. Right. Let's go try and get us a spider, shall we? Man, this is... Uh, might only be a computer game spider, but still. Oh, I should have saved. Just in case something happens. Right, let me just go and do that quickly. Because if it kills me, I'm going to have to redo the mushroom quest and everything like that. Right, there we go. Right, done. Should mean now, no matter what happens, I won't have to redo tons of stuff like I did on the last episode. Um.
Yeah, that's definitely a big spider. But it's... Is it dead? Oh, it's a dead spider. Okay. I'm not looking forward. These are rather large. Oh. That wasn't very nice. Was not very nice at all. <laughs> Right, um... Thick, milky venom coats the glass walls of the vi file. Ugh. Yeah, they're big. Even when you think about the rats. Like, the rats are much bigger than we are, but still... Mm. Right, make us something. Ah, Mouse, what news have you of the outside world? Here, I found a sample of venom. Excellent. Now it will take a while to prepare the anti-venom. I'll need, uh, three hours. One cannot rush these things after all. <laughs> Did you not listen, Mouse? I asked that there be no interruptions. Come back later and you'll have your antidote. Right. Okay, so I need time to pass. Why have you not got a bed? If you had a bed I could sleep on, we could pass this time quicker. Okay, I guess we go and see... Hmm. How much time passes? Well, not a lot. Hmm. Uh, trying to think of the best way to go now. Well, let's go up in the lift. And then that takes us to the barrel room. Then we have to get back past them, guys. Actually, though, no. I could just go down the... Yeah, no, we'll go that way. Yeah. Just trying to think whether or not it was worth going up the ladder. But no, it's... This way should be fine. Wow. Adventures indeed. We're getting stuff done though, which is good. Although I could have come up the ladder as well because that's just the other side of the bridge. It wouldn't have mattered one way or the other. Alright, just gotta watch out for this one. Right, we're all good. Right, is there anything in here? Don't need to fill that back up. Okay. There's no point sleeping, because now I'm over here. I may as well do some of the bits over here. Right, blacksmith. We haven't seen you for a while. Was there something you wanted? Here, I have your hammer. So you do. A good tool, that is. Glad to have you back. Here. The blacksmith hands you five florins. Nah, is there anything you need? Uh, can you help me solve a puzzle? I need to find a few things. Can you help me? I'm looking for some items to collect. Solve a puzzle. What puzzle? Oh. We've sold these already. Why would we need to ask about them? Maybe I can. What is it? Here, these strange ring symbols. What do they mean? No. Um. That one. What is it you're looking for? Checkpoint passes for the Pessa Road. Beetle eggs, crimson mushrooms and acorns. I need to find 12 fake cards. I need to find escape scat beetles. I'm looking for roses, foraging for wild mushrooms. I need to find the key to the armory. Key to the armory? 
Is it worth two florins, Jumass? Yeah, I've got 85, actually. There's a guard patrolling the old stairwell. The leads from the forest down into the armory. Oh! You'll find a key on his belt. I see. Thank you, Smithy. All right, then. Was there anything more you wanted? Yep. Um, let's see what else. Oh, tell me what it is you need. Suit of armor, I need that one more piece. You got eight florins. Very well, here, take it. Let me see those maps of yours. Here, start from the places I've marked. Can't guarantee it, but there's a good chance you'll find what you need. Right, was there something else? Yeah, um... Wild mushrooms, uh, beet legs, crimson mushrooms, acorns. Yeah, let's ask him about that one. How many for this then? Oh, only two. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Beetles lay their eggs in the highest place they could find. Crimson mushrooms grow only on the bones of the dead. As for the cluster of acorns, if you can't work out where to find an acorn, well, I fear there's no hope for you. Anything else I can help you with? <laughs> um, yeah, why don't you mark some more stuff on my map? Uh, let's go with... Which one do we want? Pirate costume. <laughs> Is that right? You want to be a pirate, do ya? Reckon you have what it takes? It's no game, mass. They're rogues and killers all. The frog. Down in the jail. He'd run you through and not give it a second thought. I mean, I don't know about that, but... Uh, forgive me, I meant nothing by it, Kerald. I'd have thought he'd more likely strangle me. Oh, you met him then? Alright, I've said my piece. Now then. I reckon I can point you in the general direction, but it's going to cost you eight florins. Eight? I'd rather find it myself. No, we got 75, it's fine. You do that. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I did say no. I think that'll do for now. Right, what keys do we have that we haven't used? So, barrel room, distillery, sewer, flooded cell, screaming door, begging door, silent door, jail master. See, we've got the war room chest. Oh, the well key. And the foot locker key. Is that going to be all of them in here? Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, actually... Hmm... I can't see. I can see people. It's a shame you can't, like, zoom in on the map or anything. Oh, there. There, in the top left sort of bit near a staircase. So, hold on. We are right down there. Oh, it's way away from us. So, it's not in here where I'm going now. That's for sure. So it's through the... Okay, so... Oh, wait. Yeah, so through the courtyard, which is just there. Other side, through those doors. Up the stairs, that rat patrols. And then it should be up there. Somewhere. So I'm assuming that over on the far left, bottom left, that's... Is that maybe the kitchen where the mouse was? Hmm. Alright, well, let's see if we can make anything of this. Then we'll go and see our two friends. The thief mice. Right, uh, we have this, so let's see what we can unlock with it. Because there's a couple of foot lockers in here.
Oh no. Wait, I have got the Foot Locker key. Are they for specific ones? Aha, yes, like that one. Marked Obel. What's this for? Guards Obel marked with a curious glyph. A silver disc issued to all members of the Rat Garden inscribed with its bearer's name. This Obel has a curious glyph etched onto its back face. Huh. If we use that then, we can pretend to be somebody maybe? Right, is that the only one we can open, or can we open any of the others? Be a shame if it only opens one. No. So it's literally one chest. Okay. Now we've got to get out of here again. Oh. It's going too quick. I love the fact that there are Zeds coming from them. They're going z z z z z z z. It's quite a nice little cartoony touch. That. Oh. Ah, cool, it tells us. So now we can go back and get the antidote. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Maybe we should go and do that before we do anything else. Oh. Although it was Silas, wasn't it? I was going to say because of the, the thief mice, but it's not anything to do with them. Can I? Oh no, I've got to get on there to unlock it. I wonder where the well leads to. Does it lead back? Oh, maybe that's the... No, that can't be where we need to go for the next mission. Or for the, the mission, I should say. I'm going to leave the well alone for now. I don't want to fall down it. <laughs> Alright, so it's... Uh, yeah, back to the... Yeah, we'll go back and see the Apothecaries, because at least then we're finished down there for the time being. Hello, sir. We are back. Back for our anti-venom. You again? Well, how goes it with the antidote? The anti-venom is ready. Now take this. The Apothecaries hands you a flask of anti-venom. Carry it with you and use it sparingly. It could save your life. Mmm. Okay, so now we just need to finish the suit of armor and we're ready for that other mission. So let's just quickly recap. So we need to finish the suit of armor. Uh, that one we need to find the group. So them two will go hand in hand. Um... So we need to go back and see them to finish that one. Still got that to do with her sleeping. Still got this to do as well. Just need one more crimson mushroom and that's it. Uh, we've got that one to finish off with her. Still got lots to do on that and that's it. Right, okay, well we're getting there. We're making our way through them. We've yet to do any skills. And we are still in this area. Um, let's see. It says, Venom Antidote. You think of Bryn, your son, who was lost for the want of a file like this. Aww. Food. 
Oh, acorn. Okay. A tiny hole bored into the acorn shell is sure sign there's a juicy weevil lava wriggling inside. Oh, tasty. <laughs> right, so I guess then we'll be heading back now to see the two micees, mousies, and also going to look for that last piece of armour. So quite a few things to do next time, but things achieved this time as well, which was good. I'm glad that we're done in this part of the sewers. Uh, I think, well, in the sewers in general, I think. Um, we got all the, the mushrooms we needed. We have our anti-venom now, so that means that soon we'll be able to go and find the area where the spiders are. Hooray! That would be great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we have other bits and pieces to be getting on with. Uh, still got some missions for obviously the Apothecarist and many more things to do, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up, give me a like, leave your comments down below too, and subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so yet. Check out my description box for a whole bunch of links, and I'll catch you guys on the next part. You take care now. Bye-bye.